Guys, welcome back once again. So I'm on my way to Rouen from Paris. It's about like an hour and a half, enjoying the beautiful landscape of France. So Rouen is actually in the region of Normandy. So that's where I'm heading right now. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys New My Business School's campus tour. Make sure that you watch today's video till the end. So I have reached here in the Neoma Business School's campus as you can see the board um, The buildings right behind me. They all belong to Neoma Business School I have James who's gonna be joining me on this campus tour and showing me the buildings I'm also gonna be talking to the Dean uh, Talk to professors talk to career department the whole point of this whole series to do with Neoma Business School is To understand is it really worth spending the money in this school or not? Let's start. All right, so as I said on this journey, I'm going to be joined by James. Uh, I would like to introduce James. Hello. Uh, so James is from UK. I am, yes. <laughs> and uh, he's been studying here master's in supply chain management? In supply chain management, yeah. Right. For a year. For a year now. Do you want to tell quickly about the school? Yeah, this is the campus for Neoma in Rouen. There are two other campuses in Ross and in Paris, but this is the the largest one, I would say. Yeah. Uh, likely. So it's not one big building. There are several buildings that have specific purposes, rather than having one giant building where everyone right. congregates. So we are currently here outside uh, the main building for MSc studies. Uh, this is a the smaller of the two cafeterias, and this is the faculty building for professors. Uh, this area is uh, the forest that Neoma owns. Here we have uh, a chateau, which I'm assuming we'll see later. Yeah. A kind of grand mansion. Yeah. Uh, this is the cafeteria, the large one. Administrative building, G for undergrad studies. Uh, this is the auditorium. Perfect. And then E is uh, an admin building as well. So James, how long have you been in France? Uh, in France for about 18 months uh, and then in Neoma for the past year. What brought you to France? I mean, why not UK? I worked in the UK for eight years before I came to Neoma mm -hmm. in supply chain as well. But then when my wife decided to move to France, I decided to follow. main area for B at the bottom. There are regular student activities and professional activities that are in the, the underground here. Alright, so James is taking me to one of the classrooms. Yeah, there's a class going on right now. So we're going to be quiet. We just yeah. enter and show them. James, one of the questions what a lot of people have, especially when you want to come to Europe, where every country has their own language, yeah. post-completion of studies, it is important for you to know the language. Yeah. Do you think that, one, can I live in this city, born, without knowing a language? <laughs> and if not, then at what level yeah. I should know the language? Uh, you can definitely study at Nyoma without French because the courses are all in English, the professors all speak English. Right. Uh, you can definitely live in Rouen without yeah. speaking French as well. But Nyoma offers French language courses as part of most of the, definitely the MSc. Mm -hmm. Any MSc that you do here will have um, French language as part of it. Right. James, are you studying supply chain management? Yeah. The nature of job itself requires you to speak yeah. language at a good level, yeah. like French language. What are you doing with that? Are um, you ready for that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so with the courses that Nyoma provides, and there is another university, a uh, normal mm -hmm. French university, not a grand école like Nyoma, um, just down the road. So there are um, evening classes that they provide for French okay. as well. So I've been taking those since I arrived and with the courses that Nyoma gives. So you got to make effort. It's not just about the degree, but... Yeah. Yeah. If you wanted to work here after, mm -hmm. um, you would probably need 
a level of French that's beyond just like um, ordering things in a restaurant, obviously. Since you're studying masters mm -hmm. in supply chain management, what kind of job are you expecting? I'm um, looking for obviously one in logistics for myself, trying to go into warehouse design mm -hmm. uh, rather than actually sort of uh, the manual labor part of uh, logistics or transport. The masters covers a wide range of topics under supply chain, so it covers like transport, warehouse, anything that you can think of to do with moving products from one country to another. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, so for me, I'm looking for more warehouse design in a kind of mid management position. When, when you talk about jobs, right, mm -hmm. what kind of support do you get from the school? Uh, they help you look and they help you find the job. They help you write your CV in a French way. Mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily in French, but in France it's only allowed to be a page, okay. um, which is quite difficult for me. Wow. So from the UK it's like you have to include everything about your life. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whereas here you have to kind of condense everything to one page, so right. they help you write that. What's your class strength? Uh, so it's 35 people uh, okay. for my MSc. Uh, Niamh does try and keep the class sizes pretty small, so they're interactive with the students and the professor. Alright guys, so I'm joined here by Steph, he is the career service manager for Niamh Business School. Hello. Welcome. Uh, Thank you. I'm just going to ask you one straight question. What challenges have you come across students facing and how you as a brand, as a business school, overcoming that? For international students, one of the things that we see, the, the biggest challenge that they face is language if they want to work in France. Right. That is something, you know, they can take uh, classes, uh, French classes, but right. that's something that ideally they work a bit ahead of time. Mm -hmm. um, second big challenge that they face is a market and culture knowledge. Same thing in the idea that they want to stay in France or Europe. Also, uh, we bring to them professionals via career fairs. Right. Um, where they can meet people. Um, what is the alumni network what Neoma has? It's uh, about 69,000. Worldwide? Worldwide, yeah. Okay. One last thought of yours before we continue the video for future students mm -hmm. who always have this question of jobs in, in France. If you just want to put in one sentence, what would that be? Tenacity. <laughs> okay. And uh, courage. It's not impossible, but you need to you need to work on it. I like that. Thanks, Steph, for joining. Thank you. All right, guys, so after this campus tour, uh, I'm going to go and meet the boss of this brand, uh, Neoma Business School's Dean. Uh, let's go to her office and talk to her. Why Neoma? Her book, not because of the marketing, but um, <laughs> Philip Kotler is a very famous uh, marketing professor, right? Am I right? Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. the most famous marketing professor okay, in the world. Now, can you wrote a French version of this? Yes, I've been doing that for 16 years. This is the fifth edition that I, French edition that I do. As you see, I write it with Philip Kotler and Kevin Keller, and that's me. Yeah, wow. the, and so the French version of marketing management is done by the three of us. Wow, this is beyond impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one question for you, which is, if you really have to pitch your school to someone who's watching in the process of deciding which business schools to go, uh, France has so many of them, <laughs> right? Um, why Numa Business School? Please go ahead. Basically, if I have to sum up uh, what Numa Business School is, it's a business school that believes that uncertainty and change are a real opportunity and that's what we want to teach our students. Don't be afraid of the future and of all the changes that are occurring. These are amazing opportunities for you and we want to teach you how to use these opportunities and take the best out of them. Right. And maybe the second key value that we defend is that in a world of uh, artificial intelligence, we believe in uh, human intelligence, in right. human values, in human relationships. And uh, you know, we also often say to our future students that they join a new family when they join Neoma Business School, because we have very strong uh, personal and uh, links and we are a real family. Uh, since we spoke so much about integrating technology into education system, what Delphine was talking about, the dean of this new business school, I would like to introduce you guys to Ella. Uh, please come over here. Yeah. Hi, Hi, nice to meet you. What are you responsible for? Okay, I'm in charge of the whole digital transformation at Neoma Business School. Right. And uh, my teams are working both on pedagogy 
and making innovation around pedagogy and also improving and digitalizing uh, the whole organization. So do you want to walk me through what is this whole thing behind? Yeah. So here it's uh, a meeting or a working pod. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a place very silent and very comfortable with the right uh, uh, light and all the plugs you need and of course uh, a screen where students or even uh, staff members uh, can work and think and improve uh, their meeting uh, experience. Okay, so students can and your professor or staff can also use this. Yeah, right. it's open to everybody but basically it's always occupied so <laughs> we need to have more of these pods. Do you think that other schools are not doing this thing? No, I, I think we are uh, pioneers uh, with this kind of thinking to okay. uh, set up pods everywhere in the campus to allow students or professors or staff members to work on okay. and very comfortably. 